the boys and girls, how are we doing? Uh, Wednesday, uh, 7.34, just on my way down to the shop. Uh, mad night last night, so did all the Halloween trick or treating. My eldest went up into Old Town with her friend and then mum and dad took them trick or treating. Jess was a bit upset that she didn't get to go and I'm not a fan, but we did it anyway. We took her down here and we did some little houses and had some fun. Lots of rain. Everywhere is flooded. Um, the church is its going through their front door at the minute. They've got sandbags all around it. Um, is it church or is it a... Oh no, it might be a... Um, anyway, that building is it's coming in through the door. They've got sandbags up against the front of it now. Um, <laughs> glad we're on top of the hill. We've got day two of the uh, derange today. Um, I should be able to basically get the speakers in fairly easy, hopefully, touch wood. Famous last words, Alex. One touching the door for the door's not wood. Neither's my head for that matter, but anyway. Um, yeah, day two of the deranged. Get the speakers in, retune the amp. Uh, that's today's focus. Got some stock coming in as well for some jobs during the week, and I've got some returns to do. I must send some stuff back because I've got loads of it. And you're just not indicating. Well done, Bell End. <laughs> ah, dear. So um, I'm going to go up to work, get some breakfast, and I will see you in a bit. <laughs> Morning, everyone. Right then, so box should, let's have a look, a look, should have sealed up nice and lovely. I'll just leave that stick for a bit, it's still a little bit wet on the edge, but that's all good. So we've got our mount for the sub, god it's nothing worse than the smell of silicon. Um, <coughs> obviously we need to connect up the bridging cable, which will make a you know, two ohm sub capable on a four ohm load or a two ohm sub capable on a one ohm load. So we need to do that today. But there's our sub box in, all sealed in. I'll give the carpet another hoover. We can get that bad boy wired and screwed down. And then we're back on with the truck. Um, door speakers, wiring up to do. Run through the setup on the old uh, Audison 8.9 Forza. and have a look at these um, crossovers and wiring, see what they've done on the back. Um, if I'm completely honest, I think the front wiring has been done better than the back wiring. Um, big fan of this, big fan of that. Um, I don't know why anyone in their right mind would put that in the door, in the wet section, and it was stuck on the inside that way up, so all the water was running straight into it and filling it up. Really not a good idea. So we'll tackle this today and then we'll get on with tuning the amp. Um, if you're interested, I'll run through the setup on it. It's quite quite interesting. We've done it before, but um, it's, you know, time alignment, correction, all that kind of stuff. It's good to see. But I'll get cracking and I'll see you in a bit. Bye. All right, then, boys, I just noticed something else I don't like about the rear fitment. So I've basically got my QS. This is the coaxial. And there's our terminals and our boot. That's all ready to go. But look at this. I'm just looking at their MDF spacer. One screw, yep. Two screws, yep. Three screws, no. Four, definitely not. Interesting to know who uh, who who <laughs> who did that template because it ain't fitting for Toffee. So we're going to remove that and put a new one on it. Crossovers in. We're just making our connections through up through the grommet. I'm not going to leave anything inside the wet door. Everything's going to be inboard. But that's screwed on and stuck as well, so that's solid. We'll get this one done, see you in a minute.
Right then guys, where do we get to? So, uh, taking out the Audison stuff, speaker's gone. We've refitted a plastic mount. Um, the MDF that they've <coughs> had in there is a bit wet. You can see the colors of it. Um, it's actually soaked at the bottom here, so I don't really want to fit that again because it's not gonna, not gonna support a speaker. Um, so that's out. We've got a proper plastic one in. Um, I've refitted the rubber seal. So that's ready to go onto the door card in a safe fashion. We've got a crossover in. God, these things are massive. Um, but I do like the style that Kicker do this. So you've obviously got your input here. Now, this bridging bar here where it says input, you can actually run this crossover active. So you can have a woofer input and a tweeter input and you know do it separately. Or you can use this bridging tool so it allows you to have one input and you know normal ins and outs and then you get another one which has the tweeter attenuation so you've got i think it's zero plus six and plus three db and then obviously this one here is your woofer so we got that in um i've had to lose the cover because the door card's quite close and i think i may actually have to trim off just the tops of these little brackets because this is yeah it's one hell of a crossover we have got a lot of space in the door but i'm going to test fit it and see if it gets in the way um, we've got holes this side, so I don't want to drill into that, but two is certainly enough to hold this thing in. It isn't going anywhere. It's stuck and screwed at the same time. Um, we've got a tweeter mounted as well now, so that's hot glued into lo location. Um, fits in, looks good. Obviously connect connected up with some bullet connectors. I've gone over and recrimped everything because some of the stuff that they do, you see that little spot? I'm going to redo that again in a minute. That is a non-insulated crimp tool. So they're not using the right crimp tools. They should look like that with everything connected, not just a little stab in the middle. That's for the non-insulated kind. So if you've got bare metal, you use the one with a little point. If you've got a shield like this, you should be using these, <coughs> these ones. So we'll redo that one as well. Um, and I've gone over all of these as well with my tool. Um, so cool. This one's in. Um, get the door card back on, cut these things off and then Take that off, fit the door card, put that back on, do the other side, which we've not started yet, and then plug in the laptop, wipe the system, start again. Happy days, right, see you in a bit. Right then, right then guys. Um, <coughs> extra bracing, new uh, speaker pod. I'm gonna move on to crimping these terminals, redoing that, and then we've got our crossover, cut the lugs off because this thing is huge and it hits the door otherwise. And um, as the other one was, like that that doesn't work because there's a box down here that it hits so it's actually got to go something like that <laughs> ah, fun times right i'm gonna get cracking on this one and then we're into double cards back on that side tweeter in this side plug into the laptop tune this bad boy up see you in a bit Right then dudes, the range is just going as you can hear. Um, that's the curse of the batteries. Um, yeah, the range has just been picked up. He is... Oh. Bit dark one sec he is going to go back with the bits that he's taken from me because he's not happy Motion detection uh, Over 10 and frankly event detection recording. he's probably going to complain that that stuff should have been fitted better and i kind of understand it really um it's an expensive vehicle so we've plugged in the kicker stuff 
Shut up, Jesus Christ, people. I'm trying to talk to everyone on YouTube. Thank you. Um, yeah, we've retuned it, set up the time alignment. That was another thing that wasn't done. So I can go back into the amplifier and I can see previous tunes, previous setups, and I make a point of saving something just in case that anything has changed while I've been messy on my car, I can always go back to it. Um, on that car, on that car, there was no setup, there was no tune. So the amp had been plugged in. The speakers were allocated. Um, there was no time of light correction. There was no AQ messing around with, none of that. It was literally just plugged in, switched on and working. So what you basically got out of that system was what the Ford factory radio was doing a little bit louder. There was no, there was no tweaking, there was no setup, there was no modifying. Um, to get the amp to work, I'm sure they would have had to have gone through the um, de-equalizing and processing side of things. That's how the Audison system works. Um, but as for tuning anything and setting anything up, wasn't touched. So I've put a time alignment on all the speakers, corrected everything, set it up how, how I listen to it. And having him in the car and listening to what he said about music gives me a good idea on what he likes and what he doesn't like. And he's a bit of a hip hop, friend, uh, hip -hop fan. So I set that up with that in mind, and that's how we end up at that sound. Um, but instantly happy with it, loves the sound. The bass cannot work in that little box. Um, it's on the limit, finding the seat, the space that it sat on, uh, and the box is just shy. So that Kicker RT Comparty will work down to 0.4 cubic feet on a sealed box. The calculations I did for that little storage holder, was the only thing I can describe it as, um, was 0.37. So it's tight, it's not happy, it wants more air to move. Um, but I've directed him to uh, an American chap who makes sub boxes, bespoke sub boxes for trucks and obviously you've got you know like we did with Shane's with the Amarok he does a sub box that goes behind the back seats on the Ranger so um, he's gonna go and get one I'll buy it off of eBay get that delivered and I've said we'll get the seats out we'll do the moving around of the bits and bobs that needs to be done we'll remove that storage tray put the sub in a proper enclosure that's big enough to work because that one, although it sounds all right, you, there's like a, it's an odd word. There's like a, it's like a reverse, it's like a back wave that hits the bottom, comes back and you can kind of hear it interfering with the sound. That's what we need to stop. Um, but not with that size of box, we need bigger. So he's gonna come back, we'll have a redo on that. But the mid and tweeter and treble, and stuff I'm completely happy with. But that's it, I'm late, I need to go home. Uh, I'll see you all in the morning. Got a Porsche in tomorrow, I think. Bye.